Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have another special treat sent to us from Richard, RTHOC71 on the forums from the UK. We have Cadbury Milk Tray. Mm. So these look really delicious. You can see the different varieties on the back. Probably most of our British viewers will already be familiar with this, but this is new to us. They have a caramel softy. Hazelnut swirl, white truffle, raspberries and cream, orange truffle, salted caramel charm, truffle heart, honey crunch, fudge duet, and perfect praline. And according to this, the raspberry cream and honey crunch are new. Yes. So we're looking forward to trying this. I want to do something a little bit different today, and we'll see how this works since this will be a first time for us. We wanted to watch one of the adverts from Cadbury Milk Tray. We had heard about these and we had seen a few. I, I don't know if they're still on the air or not. Most of what I found was old. So I think I have one from 1990 for us to watch. It'll be new to us because we're not familiar with them. So give us a second and we're gonna get set up and hopefully this will all work out. box looks different <laughs> and all because the lady loves Cadbury's milk tray <laughs> that was pretty good yeah. <laughs> all that just to bring a lady a Cadbury milk tray so what'd you think of that commercial it made me think about that time a uh, Pierce Bronson James Bond movie must have come out <laughs> I liked it how about you? <laughs> that was cute. That was pretty funny. Very clever. Yes. Having the guy go through all those crazy feats to bring the lady her Cadbury milk tray. Yeah, it makes me wonder what you expect of me. <laughs> Fortunately, Richard has sent us this nice box all the way from the UK. Made it safely Thank here. You. We've actually had it for a while. I thought, this is time. We need to get into this. Thank you, Richard. Thank you so much, Richard. Not for Oh, nice presentation. Points for that. I always like it when, of course, these are pretty easy to tell which is which from the back, but you get a box of chocolates and you're wondering, what is this? So I don't want to bite into it and it's something I don't like, like coconut or something. Yeah, it's the gas station box of chocolates that wouldn't tell you exactly what it is that you're biting into. So, it yeah. says, always from the heart. Oh, and here's a nice, hopefully I can do this without spilling them. They all look very decorative. They do. We good, Richard. Thank you. You know immediately caught my eye? It's the a little present? They look like little presents, yes. That's the white truffle, looks like. Mm. So I don't know, will we be able to sample every single flavor? It looks like there's 10 of them. We did bring the knife so we wouldn't eat an entire one. But what do you think? I'm up for it. We have right. lunch. Mm, this is dessert. <laughs> this is our dessert. What should we start with? Should we go just straight across? or um, If you like. It looks like they repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so maybe it's the two hearts. Okay, I think we have them all identified. <laughs> okay. All right. So you don't get two of these. The hearts are one of each. There's one truffle. One's a truffle. And then one's the caramel. One's a caramel. Okay. Okay, I think we figured it out. <laughs> that was ready? quite tricky because some of them you have two, but it looks like that we only get one. Gotcha. All right. Are you up for the challenge? Uh, let's go for it. We'll eat as much as we can. <laughs> okay. So we start. You want to start from the bottom? Sure. So this we have the fudge duet. This is vanilla flavor fudged covered with milk chocolate. That sounds good. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you cut one bigger than the other. I did. It's just for clarification, I'm getting the smaller piece. 
Mm. Really nice. I like the fudge ones, like the like the Cadbury fudge, which we just tried not that long ago. Can you taste the vanilla flavor? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Like it. Yeah, it's nice. It is good. The milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. I always kind of like the dense texture of fudge. Yeah. Me too. All right, so shall we go for the little present next? Yes. I feel almost a little bit guilty when I cut it in half. It's so yeah, cute. it looks so cute. So cute and dainty. So this one is the white truffle, a white chocolate truffle wrapped in milk chocolate. And all these are milk chocolate. Yeah. It looks like, yeah. We do have, what is it called? Black Magic is another box he sent us. So that will be all dark chocolate. <laughs> looks good. Boop. Just a little bit of white chocolate in there. Mmm. Really smooth and creamy. I was just thinking that. Very smooth. Mm-hmm. As, as I've mentioned on here before, white chocolate isn't usually my favorite, but when it's mixed with enough other chocolate, mm -hmm. I don't mind it so much. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was good. Oops. You want me to do heart surgery? Well, on the truffle. truffle heart? On the truffle heart. Another one that looks really cute. So the truffle My heart. My nails kind of match the box. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> so truffle they heart do. is smooth chocolate truffle locked in a milk chocolate heart. I gotta show the fine people. He's <laughs> trying to grab it already. Enough presentation, Ross. Give me the chocolate. Mmm. That is good. Yeah, also nice. So, got the chocolate truffle rather than the white chocolate truffle. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, of the three that we've tried so far, been smooth, delicious milk chocolate. Mm hmm. Are you ready for the? Salted caramel cream. Salted caramel charm. Charm. Correct. Yeah. I think I'm ready. Okay. This one is chewy caramel with a touch of salt enrobed in smooth milk chocolate. Mm. Now it has pretty stripes on it. Yes. I almost feel like we're eating these so fast we're not enjoying <laughs> We are enjoying them. I wouldn't normally sit down and eat this many, I don't think. We're doing it for the channel though, right? Sure. <laughs> mm. Well, chocolate coated caramel. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I got more of the chewy texture on that. Mm -hmm. Salted caramel seems to be a very popular flavor anymore. It does. Mm hmm. That was good too. Chewy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, those first three that we had, very nice, like them, smooth milk chocolate with some white chocolate. But trying that with the caramel. Yeah. The salted caramel. Yeah. So far, are you having a fave? That's a tough call. Really tough call. Salted caramel is pretty good, but I do like the fudge duet too. <laughs> There's something about the fudge yeah. that I really enjoy. But we have more to go, so. Moving on. Okay, so which one is this? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is that the honey crunch? Looks like a little pine cone. It I does. think you're right. I think it is a honey crunch. So this one is honey flavor milk chocolate truffle with crunchy pieces. Ooh, that sounds really good. It does. But does that look like a pine cone to you? <laughs> kind of does to me. Yeah. Half of a pine cone. <laughs> I can hear the crunchies. And me too. Oh, I bet I can see the crunchies. Mmm. 
<laughs> yeah. Boop. Mmm. Mmm. I was wondering if it would remind me of a crunchy bar, and it does. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know how much I love crunchy bars. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's okay. I was just thinking the moment I bit into it, immediately tasted that honey flavor. I wish we had more honey candy. Okay, new favorite. New favorite. <laughs> that is good. The crunchy bits. Mm hmm. That yeah, was very good. That was good. It's like. No, I, I, I say this often. I don't know why we don't have something very similar here. I like, feel like the most similar thing we have are Butterfingers. It's not quite the same, but you're right. Similar. Not quite the same thing. Um, Butterfinger candy. Yeah, you're getting more of that crunchy, like layered. Yeah, and it's it's, it's got a more buttery taste to it. But that's one of my favorite chocolate bars. But that, that's more like peanut butter layers. It's not exactly honey layers, is it? No, it's not even really peanut butter. It's more just like butter. Butter. Okay. Chocolate kind covered. Buttery, but it's kind of crunchy. Yeah. 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 The other candy we have was the name Honey. Bit of Honey is just horrible. Oh. We just saw those. We didn't even know they made them anymore, but. Yeah. That's another one if you want to ruin your teeth. Get a bit of honey. Yeah. That would be gas station candy. And Miguel, that would not be something to eat with your braces. It's horrible. Yeah, you have to be really careful with fillings and stuff. I just remember that those would show up in your Halloween trick or treat bag, didn't it? Yeah, it'd be something that my parents were going to go through my Halloween bag. <laughs> Mom, Dad, please take the bit of honey. Don't take the good stuff. Take that horrible, god awful bit of honey. Yeah. Okay. No All flashbacks. Right. Next up, it looks like it might be the perfect praline. Okay. Put my fingers. What does that look like to you? It kind of looks like a, a little nut. Part of a nut. This is hazelnut praline encased in a milk chocolate gem. A milk chocolate gem. That's what it says. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> I would just lose. Okay. You ready? Yep. Mmm. That's good. That is good. Mm hmm. Center on that one was very soft. That yeah. little crunchy pieces in it. Soft, little crunchy bits. Mm hmm. I feel like I got a little bit more of the nutty taste there at the end. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Very good. So you're probably torn right now between the honey crunch and the perfect praline. Yeah, those are both good. All right, next up. Like a little orange, orange truffle. And if you watch the channel, you know how much we like chocolate and orange. So this is milk chocolate truffle with an orange twist. I predict we'll like this one. Okay. I keep trying to reach for it. The orange is very subtle, isn't it? I was just thinking, after I bit into it, it really wasn't hit with the orange flavor right away. Mm-hmm. Not like we're so used to, we're always comparing it to Terry's chocolate orange. Yes. But it wasn't like that. It's definitely a lot more subtle. Mm-hmm. You're right. Just a hint of orange. Still good. Yeah. yeah. Liked it. Do you have a preference? If you're going to have something where someone told you it's going to be milk chocolate with orange, Citrus flavor. Would you go with something like this where it's more subtle? Or a Terry's chocolate orange? I suspect your answer is going to be depends on my mood. I was just going to say, you, you can probably predict what my answer is going to be. Because <laughs> I, I did like the very soft, creamy texture of that. Yeah. It was very nice. But, you know, I do love that. More of a punch of orange that you get with the Terry's chocolate orange. So, yeah. Okay. 
I do kind of feel like the the Terry's chocolate orange. I definitely like that orange better with a dark chocolate. That stronger orange. I think that goes really well. Whereas no this is a milk chocolate. Yeah. Dark chocolate with raspberry. Yeah. All right. What do we have next? Hazelnut swirl. Is that what that is? It is the swirly looking one. <laughs> I do like hazelnut. Yes, you do. <laughs> And this says whole roasted hazelnut in a whirl of milk chocolate. And I think I heard the crunch of you cutting through the hazelnut. Yeah, good. just about to say, yeah, this one feels a little more dense than the other one. Well, that makes sense because yep. I chopped right through that hazelnut. Right through a whole hazelnut. Sounds good. Yes, it does. I've always liked both. You know, we get the chocolate bars with the hazelnut cream or with the chunks of hazelnut. Both are good. They are. Mm. That's good. Yeah, it's nice. If you like a little bit of nuts in your chocolate, mm -hmm. that was a good one. It was. I do appreciate how smooth these are. Mm hmm. Yeah. So far, it's going to be a tough call as far as favorites. Yeah, that's what we always enjoy about Cadbury chocolate, anyway, is that smooth, creamy texture to it. Yes. All right, so what's the one in the center? It's a square-shaped one. Ooh, raspberries and cream. This is another new one. Yes. Another flavor we love with chocolate raspberry. And this says white cream filling with raspberry pieces covered in milk chocolate. Mm. <laughs> it sounds good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. See the raspberry? Choose your weapon. <laughs> Some little raspberry on the. Yeah, don't let that cross contaminate. Because I think we only have one, one chocolate left. Another heart. Yep. Mmm. <laughs> I think I found my favorite. Did you? Mmm. That's so good. <laughs> I've got the little pieces of raspberries in it. But they kind of got stuck in my teeth a little bit. Just like real raspberries. <laughs> Just like real raspberries. Yep. Yeah. That's... I think that's my favorite. Okay, there we still have one more to go. One more to go. That other heart, isn't it? The Caramel softy. And this one says it's milk chocolate matched with its caramel sweetheart. Ooh, okay. That one's kind of gooey. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Maybe we don't need to like show the cross. Yeah. Yeah. That one is the gooeyest of all. Gooey, gooey goodness. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, very soft and ooey gooey. I might like the salted caramel charm a little better though. Because it was a little more chewy than gooey? Yeah. Kind of like that. You like chewy over gooey. <laughs> All right, so we made it through. We tried one of each of the 10 different flavors. Now, hopefully, we're not going to be sick. And it looks like. <laughs> is there another layer here? Holy. Oh, yeah, there's another layer. There's another layer of heavenly goodness. So we have plenty more. Richard, thank you. Yes, thank, thank you, you so much. much for these wonderful chocolates. It's definitely one of those, you know how sometimes you get assortments and there's always certain ones that are maybe left for the end that you think, eh, oh. I'll wait until I'm desperate and then I'll eat those. Now see, for me, usually that's the white chocolate. If it's a mix that has white chocolate, that'll be what's left <laughs> at the end. Yeah. This one, though, I don't know that there were any that I would say, oh, that's going to be the one that's left for the end. No, they're, they were all good. These were all enjoyable, yeah. But do you still feel like that raspberries and cream was your favorite? Yes. Uh, I just love raspberries and chocolate mixed together. Uh, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, even if it's white chocolate. Mm -hmm. Just something about the combination of raspberries, cream, and chocolate. Just love that combination. And I'm assuming for you it's going to be one of the caramels. 
And I still might go back to the Honey Crunch. Honey Crunch. Okay. I think the Honey Crunch might be my favorite, but I did really enjoy that salted caramel charm. And I like, still like the Fudge Duet, too. Yeah. Oh, shoot, but I forgot about the hazelnut. <laughs> you know how much I love hazelnut. I, I I'm trying to think between the two hazelnuts which one I liked better. They were both really good. Because I did cool. enjoy that whole hazelnut, but that perfect praline was also good. So, Oh, so hard to choose. But I don't know. I think I'm kind of going for the honey crunch. You know how much I like the crunchy bars. Mm -hmm. That might come out on top for me. But. Yeah. If, say, we had opened this box and for whatever reason the raspberry cream was not there and everything else was, yep, I'd probably pick the honey crunch. Really? Okay. Oh. That was good. Enjoyed yeah. it. Combination of flavors. All right. So after trying a lot of different Cadbury chocolate, we have now tried Cadbury milk tray. So let us know in the comments if you have a favorite from the Cadbury Melt Tray. What's your favorite? And thank you again, Richard, for yes. sending us this box. It was delicious. It feels like a special treat. I love the presentation. It's so pretty. And the commercial. I could definitely see. I mean, is this a very popular gift to give to women? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's the way they make the commercials seem. But I would say men would not be. Not be opposed to receiving this as a gift either. I wouldn't be opposed. Like if I dropped out of a helicopter, <laughs> brought this to you. <laughs> I'd say, yeah, honey, you could just you know, ring the doorbell, I could jump out of a helicopter. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, if, if someone gave me this, I would not turn it down. I'd be very grateful, and we are very grateful. Thank you again, Richard. Greatly appreciate it. But. Uh, yeah, I enjoy that, that commercial. I'm kind of curious <laughs> with the way it looked. I'm, again, guessing that it came out around the time of a Bond movie was released. Yeah, that one was 1990. 1990. when that one was. That was one of the newer ones I think I found. Okay. We're only ones in the 90s. So maybe they continue them on and they're just not on YouTube. Hopefully we don't get a strike or something for using that if it's copyrighted. Yeah. I'm not sure. Hope not. We'll try to we'll try to pull the fair use. It's fair use with its commentary. So <laughs> educational purposes only. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So if you like food reactions and food tastings, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you know when we publish new videos. And until next time, bye bye. Bye.